everyone, welcome to Mr Wolf's Story Den. I'm Jan and I'm an author and illustrator and today we're going to draw one of my favourite characters from this book, Mr Wolf's Pancakes. Oh, I made this book ever such a long time ago, over 20 years ago now. Um, but this is the picture we're going to do just in time for Pancakes Day. We're going to have a go at drawing Mr Wolf flipping a pancake. So let's jump into it. So I've got my sketchbook here and um, I'll just make it steady. Sorry about the rain that you can hear, it's just, um, I'm sitting right underneath the window. Now I'm going to show you a top tip. If you're not sure about where you're going to fit your character onto your piece of paper, um, here's a little thing that you can try. I'm taking a pencil and he's obviously going to stand at the bottom, but I want to make sure his body's going to fit in the space. So I'm going to start by just very, very gently and lightly drawing a, a bit of a rough circle, doesn't have to be perfect at all. That's where his main body's going to be. And then I'm going to put a little triangle at the top. There you go, just like that, and a few little lines maybe to show where his shoulders will go, and where his ears will go. And then just very, very lightly, I'm going to rub these out later on, and just very, very lightly, I'm going to show you where his body's going to be positioned. It's a great way, if you're not sure about whether your picture's going to go off the paper it's a good way of planning your picture out so there you go I'm going to use a pen now I'm going to use this brush pen um, because it'll show up better on the on the screen so oh this is an old one actually I hope it's all right anyway off we go and I'm going to start by drawing two triangles upside down there you go there's the first one these are the ears and then join them with a little jiggy jaggy line and you can tell, and I'm going to, you can tell it's going to be somebody furry because of that. Now I'm going to go around the side and just do a little curved ziggy zaggy line. It almost represents the fur on the back of Mr. Wolf's head. Then I'm going to make a triangle and another little triangle upside down here with rounded corners. And that is his nose. Then follow a line down. We're not going to join it up completely. I'm going to make a little smile. And then I'm going to join them up with a little bit of a ziggy zaggy line to show his furry chin and two little eyes. And there you go. There's Mr. Wolf's head. Draw a tiny line down the middle and then two little curves just there and there. And they make those lovely curly nostrils. And just a couple of little lines here to show the inside of the ears. So that is Mr. Wolf's head. Two more triangles now for the points of his collar. One there and one here and I'm just going to make that go out towards the back of his neck. Join them up with a little line. That's the top of his apron. Now I'm drawing the strap and the whole of the front of the apron. One big line going down. Just one big sweep like that. And now I'll draw the arm so you get an idea of where that's going to go. You see how easy it is with these little lines underneath to help you plan. Now I'm going to do the other one. There's the strap, and then I'm going to go right down and make a big curved line out towards his back. And that's the back of the apron strap. Let's join that up and put another bit of his body in. And another line there. And there you go. Two arms. Draw the bottom of the apron and join those two up. There we go. Now the back of his shirt. There we go. It's quite nice that it's not the same length as the rest. Now I'm going to do the trousers. Big flares, big old sole pants. There we go, one leg. And do the other leg. I'm making, I'm making him look sort of very dynamic because he's going to be busy flipping a pancake and he's going to be very excited about it. Let's do the paw holding the pan now. A little curl just like that. And that's the thumb. Now I'm going to start drawing the handle of the frying pan. I'm just going to add it in like that. Another straight line. And then what I want to show are his little fingers holding the pan. Two little circles like that. Join it up. And there you go. That's his hand. Let's do the rest of the pan. Another curve. And a little line. Just like that. 
and a few little dots and that kind of shows the back of the frying pan from the inside. Lovely. I'll do his feet now. There he is on his tippy toes. He's just got little tiny toes. And time to do the paw. Try not to smudge this. Hmm, this pen's a bit funny. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And four fingers, just like that. And then I'll draw the pads in. I love drawing details like this. It's such fun. And there you go. Now we just need to add the pancake floating in the air. So I'm going to do another curved line just like that and then a frilly bit along the bottom and then I'm going to invert that and do it the other way. And that, so it, it just gives the effect of the pancake flipping itself through the air. It just makes it all look a bit more alive and some little dots and splashes of juice and oil and whatever would come out the frying pan just to bring everything to life. I'll do his pocket now. A nice big pocket on his tummy. It's nice to draw these details. I'll just draw that. There you go. And now it's time to do the pattern on Mr Wolf's shirt. So it's all these circles. And can you see how I'm, I'm not doing a perfect circle every time. Sometimes it's nice to show the circle kind of being cut off by an edge. And that's quite a nice thing to do as well. It just makes it all look a bit more believable. Oops, there's my phone going. Um, so just do as many circles as you like. You don't have to do as many as me. Just whatever takes your fancy. But so I'm going to fill his shirt with circles like that. And now I'll just put a little bit of ground underneath. I'll just do a few little marks because I'll, I'll use some colour on that as well. So there we go. Now then. So very, very quickly, I'm just going to take my rubber and erase those little faint pencil marks underneath. They've been really useful. I don't really need them now, though, so I can rub those out. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Sometimes it's nice to see the, the scaffolding underneath the drawing. But look at that. I've um, forgotten to do a few more circles, so I'll just fill those in because it looks a bit bare there. Right, there we go. So now... I think I'm ready to colour in. Um, so I'm going to start with Mr Wolf's face. He's, um, his muzzle is actually quite pale and then it fades into a, a darker brown up towards his ears and the back of his head. So I'm going to start with a very, very pale pencil. And you can see I'm using it on its side just to get a nicer kind of blending technique. I suppose that, yeah, it's, it's a nice way to, to do it. And then I'm going to add a little darker brown and what I need to do is slowly, slowly build up the um, build up the colour until I'm happy with the intensity of the brown. And this is where you need to take your time because it's kind of going to fade from one brown into another. So just be quite patient and just very, very slowly, little faint marks, little uh, delicate marks, um, just just um, fill it in. I'm going to do his paws, his toes and I'm going to colour the rest of it in and I'm going to do that super quickly, I think. So, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just do the nose before I speed up uh, because it's quite nice to leave a gap. Do you see I'm not colouring the whole thing? I've left a bit of white space there and that's good because it makes his nose look wet. OK, time for the rest of the colouring.
So I'm just going to start thinking about some shadows now. I'm using a pale grey and I'm just going to show the shadow on the inside of the pan and then down the left hand side and just under the stitching where the pocket would be um, of the apron just to give Mr Wolf a bit more shape. There we go, just very very gently, very subtle lines. Again using the side of the pencil makes such a lovely mark. Just going to fill in the intensity of this, uh, of his shirt. I'd like that a little bit darker. Oops, I've forgotten his tail. Put that right. There we go. A little furry tail. And while I'm at it, I'll do the loops of the apron. You just see a little bit of that sticking out. Lovely. I'm happy with that. Just very quickly do the graphic that's on his apron. You know, he's got an I Heart New York apron. Oh my goodness. It's ever such a long time since I've been anywhere. I'd, I'd really heart to go to New York right now. Maybe one day. I think we'll all be able to go there soon, hopefully. There we go. I just need to find a nice red. There we go. Beautiful. And time just to adjust the shading now, I think. So I'm just going to add a few details on the pancake here to make some little yellow splashes of the juice all coming off the pancake just to make it look really luscious and inviting with some circles where the batter's popped in the pan and do some nice yellow lines just to indicate a bit of movement. I'm just going to pick up on that red on this frying pan. It looks like one of those really posh expensive ones, doesn't it? Um, I think I'm happy with that. Just a few little movement lines. I call these wobbles. Oh, look. Naughty Jan. Colour that tail in. There we go. Lovely. That's better. Now, frankly, I don't think this picture's silly enough. So I'm going to imagine that Mr Wolf's been in a lot of trouble with his pancake flipping. And one of the pancakes has actually ended up hanging off the lampshade. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Big pancake, big fat juicy pancake hanging off the lampshade. My goodness, can you imagine any more silly places where a pancake could end up? You'll have to let me know. So there we go. I'm just going to go pancake-tastic and I'll colour that one in later. And I might add another silly pancake somewhere. So he's really had a lot of fun and his pancakes have ended up everywhere. There we go. We'll just have another pancake on the floor. That's nice. I like the idea of there being three pancakes. I'll just quickly colour that in. There we go. Et voila! Mr Wolf flipping a pancake. I need to sign my picture now, you know, because all illustrators ought to be credited for the fabulous work that they do. 
So there we go, Mr Wolf by Jan Fernley. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful. I'd really love you all to have a go at drawing Mr Wolf um, and get your grown-ups to post them up for me so I can have a good look at them. And um, I just really hope you enjoyed that you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. Um, so stay safe, everybody. Take good care of each other and hopefully see you in the next video.